Hi everyone and welcome to the Daily Sculpt, 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 Sculpt for the 12th of August. So today is a super moon, full moon, lots going on and so I'll just get straight to it, shall I? Yeah. Okay, so as I said, there's a super moon and a super moon can happen on a new or full moon phase and basically just means that the moon is closest to the earth as it comes into the Earth's ecliptic, I think that's how you spell it, E-L-L-I-P-T-I-C orbit. So it appears more bigger than it usually does. And the moon was lovely. I mean, it's starting to get full moon here in the UK with a nice orange colour as I looked out onto it last night. Um, on the full moon, I like to you know, leave my curtains open so I can just get in that energy. Some of you may decide to take up that practice, so you may already do it. Anyway, I'm going off on one. So, yeah, back to the super full moon. Some astrologers say super moons in chants and deep in emotions and repressed desires and feelings can surface more intensely now. So some of you may feel a bit more emotional than normal. Psychological issues may come to the surface. Spiritual past life issues may be more prominent. You may have more vivid dreams, some of you nightmares. So if you are affected by this full moon, just make sure you're gentle with yourself, take time with yourself, spend some time in solitude if that's what you need. And yeah, just remember to just be gentle. This month's full moon happens when the moon is in the constellation of Capricorn. There can be, um, as I said, a struggle with accepting any deep emotions that come up right now. The full moon is a time of completion and illumination. Some of you will focus on finishing things. Others will experience revelations either by your own exploration or from the words or actions of others. Negatively, the full moon can make us irrational and quick to anger. There can be tension between the conscious and subconscious minds, the things we should do and what we want to do. The moon also makes a square to Mars which intensifies the risk of emotional outbursts and being irritable at the slightest perception of criticism. So some of you would just think that, hey, something innocently said is actually a personal attack on your character and you can just kind of react in a defensive way that can cause problems. There can also be a lot of hot-headedness and at worst low level of violence due to the lack of emotional control. Mistakes can be made due to laziness or lack of attention. The moon also forms a square to Uranus, so amplifying the chances of emotional instability. Some people may be restless and seek excitement at all costs, pushing others' buttons, just to get a reaction out of them, winding people up, as we say in England, so just be careful of doing that or being a victim of that. If you suss that's what someone's doing, just walk away. Boredom can cause issues in the home or workplace because of uh, reluctance to accept authority. Again, some of you may just pray pranks because you're bored or just rebel because you've just had enough of people being bossy with you and there can be some kind of heated discussions while the full moon's active over the next five to seven days well, up to two weeks because it's a super moon. Nevertheless, certain conjunction with the moon can help relieve this tension allowing you to stay calm and withdrawn from any conflict that comes your way at this time still emotional coldness can cause problems in relationships that can lead to temporary separations because of Saturn's influence here there can also be feelings of not being good enough that affect productivity so you know just feeling inadequate and so someone your boss or co-workers may say hey you know you're not being efficient you're not working as hard as um you should be or you may be the one who noticed that your co-workers are not working um and being as productive as they could be so again just try and be gentle with yourself and others they could be going through problems maybe gentle questions how are you are you sore can really help them at this time and other people may try and reach out and help you and although you may be skeptic just try and be a bit open to it also because of Saturn's influence fear can hold you back from taking the much needed risk so this could be in I don't know financial or emotional risk 
someone may ask you out on a date and you may say want to say no but maybe it's time to try something new you can ask someone out and they could say no try not to you know take it personally because the certain influence can make people a bit emotionally cold right now the moon also enters void of course at 6 58 a.m so after the full moon and it ends at 10 20 a.m and then the moon enters the constellation of august at 10 20 a.m and will stay there to 11 44 a.m on the 14th of august so the moon in aquarius helps us to intuitively and for some of you logically understand and emphasize with others you can feel more charitable by joining or deepening your connection with a humanitarian cause or social active political sort of organizations that you may belong to or want to belong to ideas that focuses on empowering humanity by using science technology spirituality or any other methods may come your way working in groups can bring innovation and clarity negatively you and others can become so detached from your environment and the people in it that you ignore each other's feelings Still, the Aquarius moon vibration allows you to focus on the facts and keep a cool head under pressure. Again, a need for independence can add to the tension already active today in relationships, yet the best use of this energy is to focus on your own self-expression, letting yourself be who you are while considering the needs of others. Moon Day 15 is a day when action and reaction are essential. It can also be a highly seductive day, so it's best to check the facts when the moon is in the constellation of Aquarius. It's also an excellent time for you gardeners out there to trim your plants, to store and plant bulbs, and sow things such as chives, onion, leeks, shallots, scarlets, tulips and daffodils and lilies getting rid of parasites and domesticating your garden and doing trimming methods so to slow down growth of your plants or vegetables for any reasons you may have for that training them it's also a good time to plant onions and all onion types during this super full moon because that can also result in a big harvest also on the 12th Venus makes a quintile to Uranus that entered on the 11th of August at 4.34pm, strongest today the 12th of August at 12.23pm and leaving on the 13th of August at 8.10am. So yeah, Uranus quintile, Venus or Venus quintile Uranus can increase socialising, people feeling more excited over the simple things are going back to what I was saying about the moon square Uranus aspect as well so things can get pretty unpredictable but saying that again another aspect that supports helping those less fortunate than you emphasizing with others on their emotional psychological spiritual level dealing with traumas helping you understand your own and others traumas and wounds more exploring your quirks can also uncover ingenious solutions to your life problems right now taking time out for fun can help you relax role playing listening to or making music being creative can help you feel more grounded and with role playing as well obviously it can be sexual but you can do role play as in replaying the situation with yourself or others taking on the different roles and this can help you work through any emotional or psychological problems as well venus quintal uranus is a subtle energy and needs to be applied for you to benefit from it but all that being said if you do tap into it, it can help you just feel a bit more balanced on the emotional and logical levels other people can enjoy your company or you may enjoy the company of eccentric and original people right now you may find happiness from the simple things in life birds singing sun signing the wind blowing children playing just anything that's just simple that you take for granted you may find yourself appreciating it more right now so yeah, that was the daily sculpt, 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 sculpt for the 12th of August, Super Full Moon. Take care, be gentle with yourself and look after yourself and others. See you tomorrow.